Uh, guten Tag, mes amis. Wie geht's? C'est moi, Dieter. Ich bin Dieter. Maybe I wish I was a donut sometimes. I wonder what it would feel like to be eaten. Just a thought. Anyway, um, we call this uh, guitar lesson number uh, four. Fear and German and uh, Uh, deux, trois, quatre, en français. So, uh, here it is, guitar lesson number four, totally free. I hope you're taking advantage of Data's wonderful free lessons. Uh, get one of these. It's called a guitar. This is what it looks like, in case you've never seen one. This is a steel string guitar. You can get nylon string guitars, you can get cutaway guitars. And they usually have six strings. So get one that's in working condition. This one is in working condition. All right? So, readers and have and see on a good day. That's a free lesson number four. But actually, no. Nah, I'm just having a little bit of fun. Taking the piss, as the English would say. Uh, today's lesson will be learn your open chords. Now, you can get books on this chord charts. With fingerings, they usually call them this one, two, three, four, when on your left hand, or your right hand if you're a left-handed guitar player. We want to be all inclusive. I am Canadian after all. One, two, three, four. P I M A. Uh, right. So. Um, I'll go through the ones I can can do, and uh, first we're going to just do the major chords. This is what I'm talking about. So there's an E major chord, and I suggest you learn it two ways, because you'll play it like this open, so that you can move your thumb, ah, uh, your pinky about. Uh, Dita, what are you talking about? You don't even know the difference between a thumb and a pink. But also, also this way. You want to learn it that way so when you progress to bar chords, if you're a beginner, it won't be difficult. So learn to play the E both ways. Okay? <clears throat> Same with the G. Learn it, learn it both ways. Right? See, if you do something like... Like the intro to Tequila Sunrise, you need to, to play it like this. And you actually can play G bar chords. Uh -huh. So uh, learn the E and the G uh, that way. And uh, uh, I'll go through those more in, in detail further on. I don't like to keep these too long because I know attention spans aren't what they used to be. Right, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you a bit about... Uh, music theory. Uh, now in uh, <clears throat> Western music we have 12 semitones. Semitone is, uh, you can easily visually see what a semitone is. It's uh, the distance from one fret to another. So that is a semitone. This is a semitone. This is a semitone. This is a tone going up two frets. So uh, in modern Western music, uh, the, the, um, the, the major scales are tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. That's very easy to remember. Repeat it with data. Tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So if we don't want to deal with incidental, incidentals, which are, which are sharps and flats, we will start with the C major scale because it has no sharps and flats. So we're starting with C. And this isn't that complicated, people, because there's only seven letters we have to know. You learned the alphabet, right? It's got 26, something like that. You can count to seven or 12. You can handle music theory. All right. Uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, in music, we start over after G. 
we just do. Because uh, we don't like to overcomplicate things, especially in this day and age. So C to D is a tone. Tone, tone, semitone. D to E is a tone. See, tone, tone, semitone. Ah, E to F is, yes, people, a semitone. F to G is a tone. G to A is a tone. And A to B is a tone. And then we have B to C, and that's a semitone. Isn't that simple? So your C major scale will sound like this. today. Now, to find the, 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 and learn the three major chords uh, in your key. So in the key of C, it's the first, the fourth, and the fifth. Well, the first is, would be a C major chord, then what's the fourth? Well, C, D, E, F is the fourth, so you're going to have an F major chord, and the fifth would be, a, well, G, wouldn't it? C, D, E, F, 4, G. So your three major chords for the C major scale are C, F, and G. And that's why they sound good together. Listen. Listen. seven just to give you something to think about there so that's uh, so you have your C major scale tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone and your three major chords which will always sound good in that key the, with the first that are the based on the first the fourth and the fifth so that's C F and G how you construct those chords is another thing it is the first uh, I think uh, let's see a C major chord has a C in it, an E, a G, a C, and an E. So let's just figure out what are those. So the C is the first, uh, right? It has a G, C, D, it has an E in it. So that's the third. So the C major chord is the first, the third, and C, D, E, F, G is the fifth. So you construct your major chords from the first, the third, and the fifth of the scale you're in. Isn't that wonderful? So a C, so that is why you can play a C chord with like this. It doesn't have to, you don't have to lead with the first note because that's a G. So if I play this, all six strings, you see that's a G, a C, an E, uh, a G, a C, and an E. And that's why it sounds good. So I think that's enough for today, because we're getting near 8 minutes and 37 seconds. Free lesson number four. Uh, go out and enjoy the sun. This is a nice and flush. And look at this. Look at this. Day eight of uh, Dita's journey into manhood. You know, I was just taking the piss out of you all with that uh, praise of Dylan Mulvaney thing, right? You know Dita by now, right? And, uh, yeah. We know John McEnroe, uh, we know Dita doesn't like cheetahs. A hey, Serena Williams. Uh, love the guitar. You can't cheat. You can hide your, uh, your lack of something maybe for a bit in a band, right? But, <clears throat> you know, you got a guitar, but you're by yourself, how are you gonna cheat now? Actually, you know, some things are worth uh, doing right, as my dear old grandfather used to say. Wiedersehen, mes amis. Haben Sie einen guten Tag. Till next time. Riva Darche! Riva Darche!